Here's a short video just showing the Rainy TT50 I'm going to be selling. It's about the same size, a little bit smaller than an AC30, but weighs about the same. Uh, it's three totally independent channels. You've got a clean channel on the left, a kind of bluesy, dirty channel in the middle, and then you've got a higher gain channel <coughs> on the right. And it's effectively um, a six channel amp, really, because you have all their own total uh, volume control. So you've got volume one, volume two, volume three. And that's controlled by a master, so you can set all of those at different volumes. But then you also have this one over here, which adds, uh, can go in at the same level as that, or whatever that's set at, can go around to about an extra 20 D to be boost. So if you've got a solo that's coming up, or you want to kick up a little bit in a rhythm track, it's ideal for that. Um, your normal bass, middle, treble. Every one of them's got its own individual reverb mix. And over here you've got a reverb and you've actually got an F FX mix into each channel. Um, down here you've got like amp tightening. So when you're playing at high levels, uh, volume levels, and you just want to tighten the speaker up a bit, it can do that for you. Um, you can mute the amp so you can go directly out into a desk. Um, what else we got on here? Each of them have got a bright channel, which adds a nice little bit of bright boost to them. The middle channel has got like a modern, I'll show you what that sounds like in a minute, modern sort of uh, rock, a bit more saturation on the gain. And then you come over to your master lead channel, which is going to really be doing your, your Pantera death metal type stuff. Um, because you can have all of these three, you've got a modern, an expand, and a boost. Uh, and depending on what configuration you have them, it can be pretty over the top. And around the back here, we have uh, obviously a power inlet. You've got a line out into your desk. You've got an extension speaker cabinet, so if you want a 4x12, or you can mute the one in here. Uh, it's also MIDI compatible, and you can store presets up here. Uh, you've got a, uh, a record out straight into a mixing desk, sorry, not the line out, record out into a mixing desk, and you've got your FX set and return, which I've never used. I just normally put my pedal straight into the front of the amp. Uh, you've got EL34s in the back, and it also comes with this, which is a very, very good pedal. Uh, Laney FS6 with about 25 foot of uh, coax on the end of it so I've never been on a stage where I've never been able to use it so what I'll do now is I'll just run you through some of the sounds quickly so quick rundown of the sounds you've got a clean channel channel 2 and then channel 3 Then you've got an extra volume boost. And then you've got your reverb. So you can have it as wet. So I'll put a, turn it right up on the channel. And you can really wetten it up if you want to. And then you can really mix the effect in. So you can't even. That's just all reverb effect. little bit of reverb. So this is the first channel. idea what that sounds like. Then moving over to the second channel. Try and balance the volume out a little bit. Sounding. We can do something like a bit more reverb.
that channel. And then you can move into the... Uh, move into your third channel. just little run through so it's essentially three separate channels all driven by their own um, volume and then you have a supplementary uh, volume control which will boost all three of those channels again um, it's a great little amp I've had it sort of what is it 2007 7, 8, 9, I've had it about 8 16 15 years it's never let me down could probably do it a service to be truthful I've never had it serviced it's the uh, original valves um, yeah and there you go thank you very much